Hello Pyromaniacs and welcome back to Just Cause 3. Today we are going to do a lesson in civil engineering. So I know a thing or two about the field of civil engineering. So let's 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 do a little bit of a explanation slash test of uh, some physics in this game. So basically when you have structures like this in the real world. Whoa, stop being janky. Yes, when you have structures like this in the real world. As you can see these lateral ties, these are diagonal ties that we see here. These members that are going like that and like that those guys don't take any load from the top like it's not considered like when the calculations are done that like they might but that's only this, if the structure has some kind of fault they're just they're just there for looks well not really they take all the sideways motion so any wind resistant if there, if there is a, an earthquake or anything hits it from the side it prevents that so it prevents any kind of torsion so what's gonna happen if we yank out every one of them and just leave the four main ties so basically in the real world uh, it'll say that the the structure was, is just gonna stand nothing's gonna take it down but the slightest slightest sideways motion will make it twist and buckle and fall so basically again these guys are pretty much useless for taking load from the top they're not in place for that they don't take any compression it's all about tension in fact you can even replace these uh, members here that I'm pulling out with steel cables or just rope I'll do the exact same job so that just shows how kind of useless they are for taking actual weight from the top so they are important but in terms of taking weight from the top they're not uh, useful at all as you can see the structure is still standing very tall without a problem without a hitch in the world so let's pull out these last bits as you can see still standing that guy moving on, on the top he might cause some problems for us as you can see it's starting to buckle now um, most of them are out let's just get this one here if we can uh, there is there one across there as well there seems to be yes there is okay let's let's get it and pull and that's it as you can see so far so good the physics in this game is amazing so as you can see here these four legs are connected to the foundations and that makes sense because these are the guys that are taking all the weight from the top and putting it into the ground like ground is shoving up an equal and opposite force etc let's not get into boring stuff right now but basically if uh, we do a torsion test now that is a test to twist the tower then it will just twist and buckle and do a nice spin and spiral into the ground so let's test that and see if this game actually has some amazing physics like i expect it does so basically we're gonna just um, make like a small spiral with these um, um, tethers and just give it a little tug and then we're gonna have some fun with it um hmm, let's see let's see let's put this one over here and then now let's twist it and um, let's go out a little bit and, and have a nice view here um no we can't do another tether go here we go there we go and just do a little pull little pull there we go and as you can see it buckles and explodes so yeah that's basically the gist of it if you're interested in engineering i might continue doing this series doing more physics tests as you can see though uh, just cause 3 has some amazing physics and i have some amazing wingsuit skills as you can see oh no yeah but yeah i think i'm gonna end this one now so the lesson for today is those um lateral ties i believe is what they're called or those cross members are pretty much uh useless for taking the weight of the tower so the tower can stand perfectly still without them but the, the, it will be very very weak to any kind of sideways mo movements any kind of force on the side it will crumble and fall so yeah just cause three congratulations your physics stands up to the civil engineering test so yeah thanks for watching like and subscribe if you want more until next time later watch the end i have a nice uh, bonus clip when i was testing this theory and um, i actually had a nice little um spinny fall of a tower so yeah thanks for watching until next time later for the revolution says this car so let's uh, see if we can revolt and revolute and do that thing to the gas station that makes it explode nicely and that could be very close um again with the rooftops um but oh did it cause any explosions i think a flaming wheel or something hit the gas station but no no explosions